Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is kind of a response video to like another video that we did um, a while back. Um, it was a, I believe, a newer Honda Accord that had the ANC mics built into it where we had to unplug the brain for that. Uh, a lot of newer vehicles have noise canceling microphones built into them. Um, and so when you add a woofer, a lot of times you'll get like a real low humming uh, just all the time or randomly a pop or it actually will cancel out the bass. So um, the kind of follow up question is, uh, those have noise canceling mics question. Um, I did an install for a friend, uh, had the same problem, uh, a low humming. Uh, I haven't had a chance to look at it again, was hoping for some insight. So basically, um, you know, I can't say what specific cars, because there's probably even some cars I've worked on, uh, haven't worked on that have them, but um, a, a lot of the Hondas have them, even some of the older uh, Accords. Um, on the older Accords, there was a noise canceling mic in the front of the vehicle and the rear of the car. On the newer Accords, like we did in the video, uh, you actually can't just disconnect the microphones because uh, then the actual Bluetooth, if the car is equipped with Bluetooth, the factory Bluetooth will not work when you're adding, uh, let's say like a, a four channel amplifier or, or a sub or whatever. Um, so it worked, but then the customer will go to get a, receive a phone call or make a phone call and it won't work. So on that particular car, you just have to unplug the uh, module for the ANC system. The microphone still will work for Bluetooth, but it, it disables the noise canceling part of that system in that particular car. But uh, on any car that you might come across that with, I would definitely do a little bit of research and see if the vehicle has noise canceling microphones. Um, there are quite a few cars out there that do have it. Um, and you actually, just like I said, most of the time just have to unplug them. And sometimes there is more than one microphone. So, uh, and that's the only way that I've ever been able to personally get rid of an issue. I've seen some people show on some forums where like, you can go into like some master menu, like on the radio under diagnostics and like, like turn it off, but sometimes that will only actually on some cars turn off for just that one key cycle. As soon as you turn the key off, turn it back on, it defaults right back on. So that's going to be a pain in the butt for you to go back through every single time into the radio menu and actually turn it off. So unplugging it tends to be the easiest way. So don't know what kind of car you're referring to. Um, I'm assuming just since it's a follow up to the Honda Accord video, that's probably maybe a Honda Accord, but that's just kind of some information for you guys out there. Uh, to help you if you kind of come across this in an install that you're doing. Hopefully this helps you. Alan with Sonic Electronics. Have a great day.